Welcome back, my dear Libos, to another review of Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Goat, aka My Hero Academia, aka Boku no Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army, and also remember to enable notifications to never miss a video from me again. Now, the like goal for this video, like every video, is 10 likes, so let's strive to get 10 likes, and remember to hit the like button. So this chapter of Academia was so good. Um, I was very happy with the outcome of this chapter. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is the lesson that Todoroki, Bakugo, Inasa, and Kami gave these kids. Yes, they defeated the kids, but they did it in a way that it didn't crush their spirits. And that was one of the most important things they could have done. Because by not crushing their spirits and making their defeat, you know, seem fun. And also made the kids realize, look, your powers are cool. Like, um, Todoroki built this gigantic um, sled type thing. Slide. Uh, yeah, ice slide. And it was with their powers combined in there as well. We saw the hula hoops and everything for the structure of it, which showed the kids like, yes, my quirk is special, my quirk is very powerful, but also um, the quirks of these heroes, soon to be heroes because they're still students trying to get their provisional hero license are awesome as well. And that connection, that bond they made really mattered to the kids because now all that's left is for their teacher, you know, to, guide them later on like the chapter said because if these kids never got this guidance never visited these soon-to-be heroes because you know they're troublemakers and stuff because they think their quirk is so cool and of course their leader is a little mature for a kid like um there's some kids out there that are a little mature in their way of thinking so they probably went through stuff like this kid probably uh, that he said he'll always been bowing his head down to adult and that caused his personality to change into like this elitist personality where he was like even I play the piano better than most adults or adults and th things like that which shows that he became he, he just wanted to feel powerful is what that kid wanted um, which is not a bad thing but when you take it to that degree where you just don't look you, you always look down on others then you can't see your own weaknesses like Bakugo told him and that really touched the kid um, heart right there which was a great thing because now when he's older he's gonna you know those words will resonate with him for the rest of his life you know when you're young and somebody tells you something like impactful powerful and positive like that um, it does resonate with you. It does make you grow as a person. And I don't know if we will ever see these kids ever again in My Hero Academia, a time skip, a sequel, or whatever. But it was just nice that Horikoshi showed that he could write any type of characters and make them interesting. Now, the, the leader of this group of kids, I don't know if I mentioned it in my other reviews, but he reminds me of the main character from Monster. I forgot his name because I haven't watched Monster in a long time. But he's not as, he's not evil or anything like that. But uh, his design kind of gave me those vibes, and I like the inspiration that Horikoshi puts into his manga. Like that kid's quirk. I did say this in one of my reviews. It looks like one of those Mario villains, the, the chain little ball villain thing. Like it, it's so cool. Like I really like little references like that. And when I catch little references like that. Now the other thing I want to talk about is the end where uh, I don't know if it was. I think it was All Might said that why we had powers. I think one of them. And basically, it showed Todoroki with his flame, showing it to the kid, which basically I could, you could say, um, you could assume, you could make your own speculation, but he, they have powers to inspire the next generation to become heroes. They have powers so when kids on television see them doing heroic acts, the kids want to be heroes too because powers should not be used for evil. They should be used for good. They should be used to help people. They should be used to connect with people. They should be used to reassure people so when they get out their house, they, they don't think, oh man, I'm in danger. There's nobody. What if I, I, you know, something bad happens to me? Who's gonna save me? If they're, you know, they don't have powers or if they have a quirk that they can't really do anything with because in My Hero Academia, we have seen that there are quirks that are not combat efficient like there's quirks where somebody just has could grow flowers on their head or something that's it which 
Um, it's understandable because every quirk is not going to be a combat type quirk, and that is fine and dandy, and that's why we have heroes. Because if there was no heroes, if there was no flame this, that ignited future heroes, the new generation like these kids, or probably a lot of them are going to be heroes... Um, because, you know, not everyone wants to become a hero at the end of the day, even though these kids, all of them seem to want to become heroes, but we never know. We never know if we're going to see these kids ever again in the story, like I said earlier, but they did play a pivotal um, part in the story, not only because of their own growth with, um, you know, Todoroki and the others, but it helped Todoroki and Bakugo and stuff grow as well and have deeper connections to, you know, these kids and when they go on official missions and stuff hero missions um and they see kids in danger they will be they'll know how to um interact with them better even though uh midoriya you know he he already kind of already know how to interact with children but this is a good thing because it just breaks them out of their shell uh, especially Bakugo, Bakugo has a very fire personality that a lot of people dislike. Uh, while in the in Japan, actually, he, his character rankings is always really good. Now, for the discussion part of this video, what do I want to see next? Of obviously, the next thing I want to see is the gang orca training. I really like that this arc is um, focusing on these characters right now, and hopefully, we get to well. We're probably going to see all of their training and then finally get the provisional hero license. Now, I don't want it to be too fast in the next chapter. It's like, okay, they train with Gang Orca and the chapter after that they get the license. I actually want to see some of the training exercises and maybe maybe they all will get their licenses in the end. But maybe a little tournament type thing towards the end. That'd be, that'd be really awesome even though we already got the school festival arc um, a while back. Now, overall, I really like this chapter for the themes it had in it. And because of it, I'm going to give this chapter a 7.5 out of 10. And it was just a great chapter. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, actually, no, let me retract that. I'm going to give this chapter an 8 out of 10. Like, the, it, it was really good. And plus, there was really deep messages within it. Hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.